What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy whatever day I get to post this video for you guys. It is moving day, Monday, and I'm about to start taking a couple of things down to the new site. And after I finish doing that, I'm going to get my uh, trailer really, uh, ready to be moved. Um, I think I'm going to take up the four stabilizers, and then only thing have to be done when the guy come over to move the trailer is to take the front uh, stabilizer up and then it will be able to move. I have to throw a couple of things on my bed and the inside just before he moved the trailer as well as take the three hoses uh, from disconnect the three hoses that are connected to the side. All right guys, sorry I had to cut that short but the guy just came over and told me that they are just about ready to move my uh, trailer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the hoses, disconnect the hoses and take the uh, front section out uh, as well. So let's get that done. Yeah. Try to get this done. Alrighty, on my way to my new spot. <laughs> Yay! This is so exciting.
That side, the break was right there. Okay. So if you took your bike to the back there. Okay. 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 Look at that frog. I didn't think it was real at first. All right, guys, I am on my way to the office because I have two things to ask them about. The first one is the fire pit ring is missing. It was there when I made that little short video and showed you guys, but I noticed that it was not there. So I'm going to inquire about that and also my sewage needs to be drained because when i was hooking up my sewage there the sewage was all the way up at the top so i would not be able to drain my hose 
or my tanks one time until they drain that section out. So hopefully they can get that done as soon as possible. Um, thankfully, I did drain my tanks out earlier today, so I should be good for another two days at least. And hopefully they're gonna get me a, a ring pit to put around my uh, fire pit. All right, guys, we'll see. All right, guys, I just came from the office and apparently the fire pit rings do not come with a perm site. And I said to him, well, all the perms on that row, look at that. Look how close that is to the deck. Can you get any more perfect than that? Look at that. And everything is really, really sturdy. I think this is the most sturdy that my um, trailer have been stabilized. Yep, but this is it guys. This is my little permanent spot here at Camp Mars. It's a really, really nice spot. Didn't expect to get this spot though at all. Site, <clears throat> excuse me, site 46. Look at that. I got plenty of room for my car whenever I get my car back. And let me sit down and chat with you guys for just a second. sit here. I don't know why I'm still wearing this hat when I bought two new hats. One red. I don't know why I have not tossed this one. But anyway, let me talk about some of the things I am thinking about. I'm not going to do a lot at all to it. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, I'm going to get a, a storage thing back there. Kathy wants me to get some plants. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not a plant guy, but I'm going to get a few of them so that if I'm not successful <laughs> with keeping them alive, I'm not even gonna be here most of the time. So I'm not sure it's a good idea to get some plants. I, I might be better off getting some, um, don't mind me y'all, I am I am so exhausted. I mean, you would think that I moved a whole house today and all I, I didn't even, they did most of the work and move. I mean, thankfully, not thankfully, but it all worked out for the best that I didn't have my car. Cause if I would have had to move the trailer on my own. Ah, uh, there would have been nowhere near <laughs> as perfect as the way these guys put it. But anyway, um, I also ordered another one of these uh, blue and gray and white uh, carpets uh, because I love, love this color, especially with the gray deck. It really looks really nice. 
but it's not big enough. It's not wide enough. It's good this way from the door to the end, but it's not, I want it to come further up. I want to take the brown mat back off of the deck and put that back underneath the um, outdoor screen area. I also was thinking about, uh, do I need some chairs by the fire pit or I basically can just take my chair that I'm sitting in now and, and move it over to the fire pit whenever I need to be there. Um, I thought about getting, but then I came to my senses and said, you don't really need that. Um, like a table set with the umbrella that goes through the table and the umbrella pops up. I think that would look really nice. I think that would look really nice right there in this space right here. Cause I don't have them. that look bare. <laughs> that look bare to me. I want something there. <laughs> but I gotta think where am I gonna put it when I am away from the campground. But all in all guys, I am so very pleased about this campsite. Um, I just, I love it to death. It's like, it's like one of, it's like on one of their premier type of uh, roads here. I think it's only five uh, neighbors here along this little road here, and I'm the third one. So it's it's quiet in this uh, on this row. This is called uh, Queen Anne's Estate. That's what they call this road right here, Queen Anne's Estate. I took my, oops. I took my um, refrigerator out with my Jackery because I didn't feel like running a, an extension cord all the way from there to there. So I'll just put both of them back when it's done. But I'm gonna eat me something today, cook me something. I finally, I haven't had one of those Rana meals in a little bit. So I'm gonna make one of those in a few minutes. All right, this might be the end of the video right now, but I might just show y'all my cooking. We'll see. All right, I'm exhausted. Can't y'all see my face is glowing? When my face is glowing like that and it's not hot out or sun, that, that means I've been putting in some work. All right, the other thing I like about this, Zach, is I would be able to um, do my morning exercise. I got plenty of room to do my morning exercise or my exercise period. But all right, that's to get ready to move because it's I don't have it staked down. I saw it move a little bit. But all right, guys, um, I might end the video here, but we'll see. All right, guys, I changed my hat, <laughs> washed my face. Now let me tell y'all about my car. My car is missing. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know what my car is. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny. I, I, that's just my sense of humor and things. And okay, I got a call today from the body shop, the woman from the body shop. I actually spoke to her in person twice when I was in Daytona before I came back to the campground. So I knew who was calling me. And she said, uh, Mr. Matthews, I just got a call from the company that was responsible for moving my car from the tow lot to the body shop. Now, mind you, this is only like a 15 minute ride away from the, the tow lot. So it's not like they had to take my car a long way. It's, it's literally about 15, no more than 20 minutes away from the tow lot. So she said, they they told me that they uh, they picked up the car from the tow lot and they delivered it to uh, the shop. So she said to them, there, there's no car here. And um, she wanted to call me to let me know that they delivered the car somewhere else. It's not at the body shop. So she said, um, call your insurance company and try to find out where the car is. Her guess is that the car is at the Nissan dealership as opposed to the body shop. <clears throat> now in Daytona Beach, they have something called the Auto Mall, the Auto Mall. And it's basically a long strip with a lot of different car dealerships and then some other little things like it's an enterprise uh, rental cars thing there. And then it's, it's the auto, auto body shop. It's big as day. It has its own address. So I don't understand how 
or what the mix up was, you know, because that's the address that I gave them to take my car to the auto shop. I know the address by heart. So I hung up with her and I called my adjuster. And once again, couldn't get a hold of him by phone. His inbox and message box was filled up. So <clears throat> I called my local insurance, insurance company up in PA. I, I had been communicating with them as well through this whole process. So they told me that they will send the insurance adjuster uh, an email through their portal. And with, within five minutes of me hanging up with her, I got a text from the adjuster saying that he's working on it. You know, he's looking into it and all of this stuff. And I, because I had texted him and, and told him everything that the, the woman at the body shop said, that the car is not there. She thinks that they may have dropped it off at the Nissan dealership and not the body shop, which is on the same strip. And so <clears throat> I texted him and um, said, okay, thanks. So that's where we are right now. He's trying to find my car. <laughs> I'm telling you, I mean, I don't understand the mix-up. I mean, the address should have been known. Take the car to the address. That should have been on the paperwork or, or whatever, you know. But anywho, I started off this whole thing by calling the tow shop and asking them, Has my, have my car been picked up? And then she told me that the car have not been picked up and that is starting, that past Friday was starting to accu accumulate uh, storage fees. So that's what got me to going, because I'm thinking, okay, am I responsible for those storage fees or is my insurance gonna pay the, uh, these uh, fees? So, and that was one of the questions in the text that I did ask my um, adjuster, and he said that, he said, I'm not responsible for the insurance, I mean, the, the storage fees that they are, they'll take care of everything. So, so far, I only think, I just have to pay my $500 deductible, which is not bad, not bad for whatever they probably, now, of course, I'm, I'm anticipating that my insurance will jack up <laughs> next term, but that's the least of my concern right now. I just want them to find my car, get my car to the body shop, give them the estimate of how much it's going to cost, so that they can start working on my car because time is ticking. I mean, even though I got the perm spot here, the permanent spot here, I was expect I'm supposed to leave here on the 30th and go to my next campground, which I still wanted to do. Now my next campground is in Georgia, which is like a five and a half hour. Is it five and a half? It would be a five and a half hour drive from the campground back down to Daytona Beach. I'm going on with my plans. I'm going to that next campground, and when they call me, and then here's another thing I'm, I'm still dealing with. I don't know if my tags been, right now I have, my temporary tags on the car have expired, but I'm not worried about that right now because the car isn't gonna be, it's not on the road yet. So in another few days, I'm gonna call back up at UPS and ask them if they have my, something that looks like could be my tags and have them to send that to me if that if in fact it looked like it's my tag and just send me all my stuff but man everything was well situated i mean when i left daytona beach everything was was all set you know all they had to do was take take my car from the tow lot to the repair shop which i gave them the address which i found the tow shop you know myself that's all they had to do was take my car to the tag on repair shop and do the estimate of the damages. And somehow it got all, it's messed up. And I'm still fighting, trying to get my tags, my registration, my um, plates and everything. So hopefully all of this stuff will be settled in the next two weeks while I am still at this campground. But if not, you know, I'm just gonna have to roll with the punches and and, and do what I need to do. I might just go ahead up north anyway because I do want to uh, see my family a little bit and see my friends and stuff. So after I leave here, 
let's just hope. Let's just hope that my car is at least at the body shop this week so that they can get working on it. And if it takes about two weeks, then that will be perfect timing because I can just call the next campground and say, hey, I'm still coming, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be two days late or something like that because I really do want to go to the next campground. I really like the next campground. It's Oz in Georgia, Unadilla, Georgia. But if I have to cancel it to buy myself two more weeks because I'm supposed to be at that campground for two weeks from May the 1st to the 15th, if I have to cancel that to buy myself two more weeks for the car, then so be it. I'll do it. But anyway, guys, that is what's going on. It has been something else. I'm telling you, I really feel like singing that song to y'all, the, the facts of life. You take the good, you take the bad. Facts of life. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And look at my permanent home. Yay. All right, guys. I will see you guys the next one. <laughs>